One day, Edward was in the shed where he lived with the other engines. They were all bigger than him, except for Thomas who was obviously smaller, and James who was about his size. Anyway, the actual big engines enjoyed teasing Edward. The driver won't choose you today, said Gordon. He wants strong engines like us. Hello, Edward, said the driver. I'm choosing you today. Edward was very pleased, while Gordon was very ticked off. I'm very ticked off, he exclaimed. Why on earth would the driver pick you and not me? Perhaps because you killed several passengers recently, Edward retorted. Oh, right. Wait, did you actually forget you did that? Come along, Edward, said the driver. We have work to do. So Edward puffed off to the station, deeply concerned by his colleague's poor memory. Edward worked hard all day, taking passengers up and down the line. They complimented him for a splendid job and were very grateful he didn't kill them. The driver was impressed by his performance and promised to take him out again tomorrow. The next morning, while Edward was getting ready, he noticed Gordon was gone. Suddenly, he heard screaming and the big blue engine thundered by with the express. Edward was mortified. That galloping sausage has stolen my train, he exclaimed. Come on, Edward, said the driver. Let's get after him. Ha ha, Gordon hallooed. You can't catch me, little Edward. Wrong. That's impossible. How did you do that? Oh, there'll be plenty of time for explanation later. But right now, I'm going to whoop your tender. <laughs> Well done, Edward, said the driver. When we get home, I'm going to give you a new coat of paint. Would you like that? Oh, yes, please. With that, Edward puffed happily back to the shed, leaving behind a very battered and bruised Gordon. So remember, boys and girls, violence solves everything.